All right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. And I'm here just kind of give a little update on the channel and let you know uh, what's coming up here in the future. In just a couple days, on the 4th of March, a brand new driving simulator game, Gran Turismo 7, is coming out. I've been a big fan of the series since the very first one back on, I believe it was PlayStation 1, if I'm not mistaken. So this will be the seventh uh, version of the game I've owned. I've owned all the numbered versions. I did not get Gran Turismo Sport. And it, to me, it didn't sound like it had a good career mode, which is something I really enjoyed in the game. I didn't, I didn't, I don't like the racing game for the online aspect of racing other people and all that. I like the career mode. I just kind of had fun with, um, building up, you know, buying a piece of crap car in the beginning like you always do. Some little Nissan or some little, just some old used car, that little boxy piece of garbage that has like 70 horsepower, 60 horsepower, something ridiculously low. Racing that Sunday Cup a few times until you can buy a new exhaust for it or, or whatever it was to upgrade it enough to start winning it and advancing and making money and slowly building and progressing in the game through your career until the point where you're racing these super these super cars and winning all these crazy vehicles and tuning them up and changing them up and all that so i am very much looking forward to this game and as you can see at the time of this video it's going to be playable <sighs> It's going to be a little while. But anyways, so we're looking forward to that. That series is going to be structured a little different than these other ones. These other ones have been, you know, they're kind of like uh, uh, walkthroughs of the games themselves because they're mission-based games and they have stories and progressions, whereas Gran Turismo is kind of more do-your-own-thing. So we'll probably highlight um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of aspects of working on cars how to tune them how to tweak them out for certain tracks how to get them ready for the circuit as opposed to just you know we're not gonna i'm not if i have to race the sunday cup 10 times to make enough money to upgrade the car to where i want it to be yeah i'm not posting 10 races of that that's just ridiculous so there'll be shorter videos probably uh just highlighting the vehicle and um and the actual race itself um I'll also probably involve looking at some of the different aspects of the games. There's a lot of neat stuff in there. There's a, I, I guess, a cafe of some sort. Um, there's a museum. There's all kinds of fun stuff. So really, really looking forward to the content that this game is going to give us to, uh, to play with. So another game we're going to look at here soon when uh, we get some time is Cyberpunk. 2077. Now this game is notorious for its horrible reviews. The game was considered almost unplayable on certain platforms, namely the Xbox, whatever it was, and the, the PlayStation 4. I had a PlayStation 4 Pro that I had upgraded the drive in it to a uh, SSD drive, so in doing that, the game was very much playable. Was it great? Yeah, I had a blast. I thought it was a fun game. It was a lot of fun. Um, but there were definite flaws in it. Definite weird things. Driving felt weird. The, the way the cops acted and reacted was insane. So this one we're going to revisit on the new updated PlayStation 5 version. Because only you know playing the 4 version on the 5 was not the experience I was uh, hoping for. You know, I, I wanted... Or, you know, the, the next-gen hardware and all that. But anyone who's familiar with this game and, and CD Projekt Red and everything they went through will know that this game was quite a mess at launch. But it looks like now they are really trying very hard to get this game where it's supposed to be. And hopefully we'll be seeing some great um, downloadable content and DLC in the future. Maybe some mission-based stuff maybe new areas I'm sure I think we've already got um, some odds and ends let's see real quick oh, maybe maybe I'm wrong but um let's see yeah no none right now okay so anyway that's definitely down the pike and really looking forward to it 
Now, we've already gone through, we're doing Horizon right now. We did Dying Light Stay Human, which we'll continue to um, run with that for a while. Uh, I'm going to do some more in-depth videos there eventually. I'm a little taken by this one right now, and then GT7 is going to take a lot of time up. Of course, we had Subnautica, which took us through the entire game. I'm going to keep that. I've got one trophy left to get before I get the Platinum, so that one is not getting... Uh, sideline until I get that. I'll take one night and just do that, figure out which one it is. Some stuff I'm looking forward to, though, in the near future will be probably Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I've had this game for a long time, and as you can see, I have never played the uh, PlayStation 5 version of it, just never got around to it. And on Dying Light, I played quite a bit, the original, and Dying Light the following, so... Um, this one I'd like to revisit down the road too since we've already done Dying Light 2. Same thing with Horizon uh, Zero Dawn since we've done Horizon Forbidden West. So we got a few games in the library. There's also a Subnautica Below Zero which was the sequel. So we've got a few games in the library we'd like to go and have some fun with and as you can see the choices here are endless for single player games. We've got Everything from Final Fantasy remakes to Fallout 4 to the Hitman collection, Tomb Raider, Just Cause 4, Resident Evil games, Outlast, I mean just Uncharted. The list goes on and on and on. So as we uh, progress here in the game and the channel grows, we'll have more and more content for you. If you see something you like in here, God of War, because we know God of War Ragnarok is coming out soon. Um, so if you see something in here you like and you want to see me uh, mess around with, let me know. I'm trying to avoid multiplayer games, so, you know, and, and stick with uh, mainly story-driven games that are single-player. Stuff like the Outer, Outer Worlds and A Plague Tale. Outer Worlds is a lot of fun. XCOM 2 is a blast. Not really, well, it is kind of story-driven. It's a different style of game, though, with the strategy and all that. And we got building games like Planet Coaster... Jurassic World uh, Evolution 1 and 2. So there's quite a few different um, opportunities here for some great, great games to uh, be explored and looked at. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notification. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video and a comment down below. Let me know what games you're looking forward to and uh, and what you'd like me to uh, explore in here, because I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, like, you know, looking through some of these games. A lot of times I pick games up on special, you know, when they're really cheap, or I get them through uh, the PlayStation Plus service, so they really cost nothing, you know, it's just part of the service I get, and I throw them in the library, only to be played with later. A lot of games like The Sims, you'll never see me play that. UFC, yeah, probably not. Probably not. Borderland games, maybe, yeah. I definitely want to go through uh, Man Eater. Dirt 5, D you know, this is for, uh, my girlfriend's kid has a couple games I got for him on here, because I do share. He got my old uh, PlayStation 4, so we definitely got him a few games in here that are designed for him, more or less, you know. Stuff that he'd enjoy. Overcooked is one of them. Um, Slime Rancher. <laughs> yeah. So, not my style so much, but, you know, hey, maybe one day we'll have him do a little guest presentation and, uh, and show us how some of those games are played. That might be kind of fun. All right. Thanks for joining me once again. I'll see you the next time.